Um, but I wrote one especially for tonight, but I'm going to read this other one first. Um, it comes from Psalms 23, and it's my favorite verse in the Bible. Um, but I really, there's something about this verse, and I want to say that any time that we resist, that we stand up, we are taking a spiritual stance. And that is why this poem is so important to me. The sacred energies are my shepherd, I shall not want. For responsibility to struggle, to fight, do they taunt. They, lay, they make me lay down in green pastures with temptation of wealth rejected before it festers. They lead me beside still waters, thinking, emerging, losing myself, and only the revolution matters. They restoreth my soul. My heart fills with hopes and dreams for a just and peaceful world as the goal. They guide me through the path of righteousness for their namesake. For to seek what's right in their name means to give and not take. Although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for no amount of dollars can buy my conscience and soul. For the sacred energies are beside me, and from this battle I will never flee. Their rod and staff are there to comfort me, and they prepare a table before me in the presence of my foes. For I know that it's the rich and not the poor that goes. They honoreth my head with oil, my cup overflowing. My soul fills with love and passion for righteousness and is ever glowing. Goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life because the fight for justice cuts my heart like a knife. I shall dwell in the house of righteousness for as long as I live because this part of the, re of the revolution I shall give. I told Alada early on this week I was going to write this poem because one of the things I've noticed, I, I am also a doctoral student, and one of the things that I have noticed is that Chicano and Chicana, this proud race, has begun to be erased. Um, and it really is beginning to bother me. At first when they referred to them as Latinos, I said, oh yeah, I guess that's more inclusive. But then all of a sudden I realized what they were really erasing was their indigenous um, self. So I wrote this poem, uh, and, and I really want to talk to, to that's going to speak to, we are not going to let the Chicano and Chicana disappear. Um, Chicanas, Chicanos, that beautiful and proud bronze race, with stress lines of, of courage illuminating from their face, a proud rasa, proud of the Indian blood that flows through their veins, a courageous people who struggle for justice and equality, change society like a strong storm of rain, a spiritual race with Native American worldviews who preserve throughout the centuries the first people's stories of violence and destruction that the colonial oppressors considered their glories. The, the Raza, who knew they were not Spanish, but the mixture of Spanish and Indian blood, whose history of resistance brought them oppression and anguish. An indigenous race where borders crossed them and not them who crossed borders. The proud Chicana and Chicano, where are they today? They have been lost in the image of Latin or Hispanic with proud Indian heritage being erased by the white ideological eraser held up by those Chicanas and Chicanos who disgraced this race. These Chicana and Chicano zombies with no brain or consciousness selling themselves for pennies whose motives are ominous, pompous, and monstrous. Politicians and educators moving against history they are nothing but historical and cultural traitors who are attempting to rewrite the Chicana and the Chicano story. But history is unstoppable and cannot be rewritten. The truth cannot be hidden in whiteness. The true Chicana and Chicano will not regress, and these zombies 
will be addressed. This power rasa will stand up. They will not disappear. They will reappear stronger and united with their souls on fire. Again, they will reclaim and recapture. Emboldened, they again will struggle against the attempt to whiten them. By their own hands, these attempts will be fractured. Chicana and Chicanos will again be proud to proclaim Que Viva La Raza! Que Viva!